All right. Kenman here. <laughs> and today there's about to be a massive scrimshaw knife explosion. Do I have enough bone handles to get started on this project? Not even close. What crazy treasures are we going to add to the Scrimshaw project from this box today? What is the Scrimshaw project? Bing! Check it out right there. It's about to get crowded in here. Excellent. Before we start, I am not sponsored by anyone and I purchase everything at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. This box is large. It is from SMKW, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and it contains a serious pile of stuff. Let's try to get it open. Nice and controlled, safe, depth set cuts. They always seem to put the paperwork on top and then I have issues with, oh, I gotta go edit so my address isn't right there in the video. So I'm trying to find, here we go. Let me just get this paperwork out of here right now oh oh Michael they uh gave me some stickers sorry I'm off camera I got like I said it's the paperwork's right on top there and it always has your address right full force gave us a couple stickers SMKW we got some kind of holiday we got the Bumble and what's his name Yukon Cornelius Yes, I know his name. Am I dated myself there? Um, and the gingerbread man with a knife. And they all got knives. These are fun little stickers. Everybody loves getting a fun new sticker. Can't even see what is happening. Ooh. All right. Paper on the floor. Look at the goodies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven things I see in here. Let's just kind of go one, two, three, a four, a five. Oh my God, that, that one is open. We'll just pretend that that didn't happen. <laughs> this box came flying open and there, that is everything else that is in there. Box on the floor. Holy smokes. Let's see. That has a picture on the front, so I'm going to keep it upside down for a moment. Wow. Um, how can I... Eh, forget it. Um, I'm just going to do these right now. This is one side step from what we've got going on today. I got these just for fun. I might use them in a project at some point in time, but what you've got right here is the Victorinox standard toothpicks that come with like the um, Victorinox like Swiss Army knives and stuff where it's got that little toothpick in there, little plastic toothpicks. I'll go ahead and take one out, why not? But these were like 50 cents a piece or something like that, so it was a couple bucks I bought, like a few, four or five of them. See, they got the little nub and the little slot so that it fits in to certain scales on certain pocket knives. And I might make some custom ones that will be able to hold these. We'll see what, how it goes. And I figure for a couple bucks to throw it on, and I've got them in my pile of art supply stuff that I could eventually do something with. The rest, I'll just go ahead and just flip this. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And this is what we get to check out today. Everything on the table is for the Scrimshaw Project. I did post the link for that other video. I've done a couple of them now, some openings, but here's some 
I got the scrimshaw kit and a few knives to get started and then some more and then some more and now some more. But scrimshaw is basically, this is a whale tooth. They also do it on bone, lots of different materials. But what you do is you cut and scrape a pattern into the handle or whatever it is. And then you put ink on that and wipe it off. And once you wipe it off, it leaves that um, design behind. There's a couple of the older kind of designs that you could put on there. Basically, so what you're doing is you're customizing the handle. You draw that on there, carve it in, and then fill it with ink. And then it leaves that nice look. That's what Scrimshaw is. I have a bunch of knives I've already got. I'm going to be starting this project pretty soon. I'm excited to do it. Now we have all of these to add to it. Holy cow. One, two, three, four identical boxes that do not contain identical knives. And we got this one and this one. How do we start? Where do we go? I don't know what to do first. We're just going to go, boom, whoops, we're going to slide that up and just off camera. We will get to it. What are we at? We're moving along we're gonna this might be a little longer video settle in knife number one i'll do my best here uh they don't give you a lot of info and yeah here we are okay boom cute little box this is the smallest one it's funny a lot of these they give you the measurements but you know like knives you see them online and you don't know the exact size this one i thought was a little bit bigger it's fairly tiny but that is fine i am not upset about that mini bag on the floor. All right, so what we have here is a Rough Rider small lock back. Go ahead and boom. So this has a lock right there. Push that in, snap it closed. This is a nice, this is a fancy look for this little teeny one. Little finger groove right there, kind of a three finger knife that hook kind of curls in between where my pinky is. We're getting in there doing some little tiny smaller work. If you're looking for a small knife to keep in your pocket, let's do some close-ups. So, okay, I'm going to just cut to the chase real quick. Basically, all these knives, I'll talk about them a little individually, but they pretty much all have 440A um, stainless steel blades. They pretty much will all have nickel silver bolsters. They'll have copper pins and some copper in the lock mechanisms and stuff like that. And that's going to be kind of across the board for pretty much all of these knives. So this one is the Rough Rider small lock back. Got kind of a drop point almost wants to clip a little it seems like right there it changes angle but yeah a little drop point kind of blade it's got the match strike inside there you strike matches on that textured surface it's got that lock pushing down on the handle snapper closed this is a fun little knife i'm into it for being smaller what do we want to draw on that handle on that bone natural material right there Okay, number one. Let's go here. Number two. Another Rough Rider, obviously. Most of these are Rough Riders other than that fixed blade. So, this mini bag on the floor is a Rough Rider Lockback. This one's not considered a small, but they're calling it a Rough Rider Lockback as well. Definitely got some more locks. The last uh, order I got, I only got a couple that are lock backs, and this one is definitely more of the locking knives. I just saw some different ones, and ooh, the way your finger fits in that in that first spot right there, and then all three fingers fit on there. Handle sticking out. That is a little bit better grip, a little bit better Kenman grip compared to this smaller one. Obviously, it's significantly shorter. I also enjoy how wide this gets at the end. That kind of makes it feel beefier in your hand. When you're grabbing on like that, I dig it. Shorter blade for a lock back though. Look at that. Boom, nice little lock. 
So yeah, I'll remind you again, we've got the, the nickel silver bolster, got the brass pins, some of the brass on the lock mechanism and the liner, got the match pull or the match stick strike, match strike pull, they call it. All right, boom. And obviously the bone for some scrimshaw action. Nice big surface right there, right? Very cool. How are we doing so far, huh? Having fun? All right. Next one. This one, this one, this one. Ooh, I think this one's the heavy one. I'm, there's one I'm trying to save for later. Not that it matters, we're gonna get to all of them here. All right, next up, same box, same mini bag on the floor. This is the Rough Rider Canoe. They call this the canoe. You can see the shape it kind of scoops up there and there without the blade in the way. It's got that shape of a canoe. This is like a classic style. It's been around for a long time. Um, the Rough Rider Canoe. Obviously, same 440A mirror stainless. This one has two blades. Boom, boom. So you got two kind of drop point blades. Uh, a little bit larger one, a little bit smaller one. There you can see that canoe shape a little bit more on that handle. Very nice looking shape. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, Rough Rider Canoe. So this one is not a lock back, but this is that one of their classic, that canoe shape is just a classic old school design. I like this, you know, like I said, it doesn't have that lock, but you got your half stops, boom, boom. Kind of help prevent it from slamming all the way shut on your hand. This does feel nice though. As far as just an interesting knife to have in your pocket, I like the canoe shape. I might put that canoe paddle on there, kind of make it a theme. Yeah. Okay, there it is. Three down. Let's keep rolling. Let's take a little sidestep, huh? Why not? Oh, we've got tape. We've got tape. Get my pyrite out. Boom, boom. Okay. So this is the gentleman's whittler fixed blade. Okay. Got this funky looking sheath. Interesting looking kind of a sheath there. Kind of more of a natural design of a sheath. I guess you would call it. I don't know. Ooh, that's a piece of wood. That's an actual little chunk off of a tree. That's interesting. Little bag on the floor. All right. So this one does not have the nickel silver on the bolsters. It is just brass on that guard. Again, this one is a little smaller than it looked like on the uh, photo, but man, this is cool actually. I think this looks neat. Let's just try it in here once just to see it in that sheath. There you have it. So we've got the Gentleman's Whittler fixed blade with sheath. It's got the bone handle with the brass, those red lines on that bolster. Nice little uh, effect, little look. It's got some weight to it. It's full tang. Look at the so that, which means that the blade steel piece goes all the way. The handle is completely uh, filled with a chunk of metal. This is one big piece of metal. Makes it a little bit stronger. More of a, it's a solid fixed blade. Um, when you get that, some of them the, the blade will actually stop like here. So this look how thick it is too, and that it's Pakistan says right there but that is a real thick stock and it's really kind of beefy all the way out to there where it kind of tapers 
very shiny polished look this is not a larger knife my pinky does kind of fall off the end but the weight of it ah oh, this kind of makes me want to carry a fixed blade you know i've seen some of the newer fixed blades where they have sheaths that basically are go into your pocket so that you basically slide it into your pocket like that and it kind of still clips over so the clip stays in your pocket and then you can pull out that fixed blade and do that work now I if you saw I'll, I'll link it right here I did a spine whack test um, not, you know I'm, I'm definitely use the right tool for the job kind of guy most of my folding knives I'm not gonna do something that's gonna create a lot of pressure on the back if I was I would use something more like this where this is solid that is not gonna give way you could whack the hell out of that off the back and it's not bending look at how thick that stock is but let me tell you this feels really nice I really like this it's small it wasn't too expensive but oh, getting all three fingers in there and reaching up I feel like I could do some work with this and it kind of again makes me want to start maybe looking at some of those fixed blades what everyone think about this one? All right. Definitely not as big, or I thought it was, <laughs> thought this one was bigger, thought this one was bigger. These seem about the size I imagined they were, but you know, you look at a picture, you just can't, you don't get that, that, that scale. <clears throat> All right. Couple left. What are we at? 16 minutes. We're having some fun here. All right. Another one in a similar style. Right, get to it. Another Rough Rider mini bag on the floor. This is another a Rough Rider lock back. Boom. Similar style, slightly different. If you look, a little more rounded. Doesn't have the finger choil spot right there. But other than that, similar size. It actually looks like the blade is near identical. All right, so continuing on with the brass pins, the nickel silver bolster, a larger bolster. Ooh, this feels nice too. Just a nice smaller working knife. Got that nice lock right there. Engages easy, opens easy. Ooh, that feels nice. For a two-handed opening, boom. It's just smooth, solid. Doesn't really move. Let's, is this one solid? <laughs> yeah, these are definitely the way this construction and these these work there. I mean, it's there doesn't a whole lot of place for that blade to go and be weak. And they open. That feels nice on these. Boom, smooth. I have a couple. Some of those. Um, I've a, a couple of the other ones. Maybe we'll look at it in a second here. Definitely kind of. I'm a little, so I've had some cheaper ones. They feel a little grindy, a little chunky when you're opening it up like this. These all feel really smooth. Like they don't have that kind of grindy kind of feel that a real cheap. These are not expensive by any means, but they feel really good. This right here, just smooth, nice click. Do you hear that sound? Right? No crunchiness. Feels tight. Feels nice, actually. I'm I'm starting to be a little more of a believer in some of these knives. I mean, it's this is me. Look out, button lock, fidgety, one-handed action. Nice laser mark that I did. Uh, that's my style all day. But I'm getting into this. I like to try different things. I'm an artist, and so. Um, the artistic side of me wants to do some stuff and these were the type of handles that I could uh, on knives that I could afford and not to be too worried about if I were to screw one up I don't want to buy like a hundred dollar knife and experiment with scrimshaw on it so it's like these are a little bit cheaper to be able to not be as worried about it all right this is the last last one this one's a little different this one was kind of uh, something for more for Kenman than for the, it does have a bone handle. 
except for it's an amber colored bone. So we could still do the scrimshaw on that, but that ink, the black ink won't kind of show quite as much on there. But there are some things with this. Look, ding, 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 ding. What is happening? Oh, and there's a pocket clip. What? This is the Rough Rider double lock back. Amber bone, nickel, silver bolsters, just like everything else. Let's go ahead and get these out. All right. So there's one with a lock. Ooh, that's stiff. Or is that? What's happening? Why can't I? Am I a weak? Oh my goodness, that is stiff. I just wonder if there's something in there. Just a little bit stiff on that one there. All right, so let's open the second blade. Boom, boom. So we got two blades. It looks like it's got kind of almost wants to be a clip point there and a drop point over here. Not that you're going to be doing it like this. All right, so there, there's the lock for that one. I don't know what is going on with this one. It's really stiff. Feels like there's something not. See, then it doesn't even push out all the way. Okay, so one at a time here. That is... The smaller blade does feel nice. It's a bigger handle. So in my hand, that's a nice little grip on that. Nice smaller blade. Man, these, something's going on with the lock. It doesn't want to work the way that I would imagine. I can't even get it to go. Kidding me right now? <laughs> I don't want to cut myself, but man, that is really, really stiff. I'm not sure what the deal is on this particular one, but it is not the same as these others. I am pushing with a lot of might. Huh. So yeah, that's kind of disappointing. I don't know. that This one was the one I was most excited for, to be totally honest. Um, like I said, it's got the pocket clip. Let me put that in the pocket. And it's a lock, lock back knife, but it's these, they were even. See those locks? See how like this one sticks out further and this one's not sticking out all the way. It's like it's not clicking out. Like there's something not right with this one. See that feels sounds correct those clicked out okay look now they're in the same place wow that is i mean i got weak hands but uh, i had to push that as hard as i can just to get that to do that that is uh, but see look at how easy that goes out it wants to just open up like no problem but then right here it gets really stiff and then once it goes in, now I can't, I can't push that in. Oh, I'm going to cut myself doing something with this knife. That is, I might, I don't know. I'm really unhappy with this at the moment. This is almost unusable as far as I'm concerned. Um, God, that was probably the most expensive one too. I'm going to experiment with this on the side. We're kind of starting to get long here. Um, go ahead and just. Pull these in real quick. Here's the other ones that I have. So we've got plenty to mess around with. I'll just go ahead and grab. This was one of the larger lockbacks that I got. Makes all these look pretty small, right? Another huge lockback. See, now watch. Push, close. Simple. Any of these, I just push, close. Simple. I cannot... Man, that is 
Right now, I really don't like this knife at all. It's like almost impossible to close. I can't even, yeah. To be continued on this disappointing yet amazing looking knife. I don't understand why, or maybe I just got a bad one. We'll see. Um, yeah, grab the camel or the camel. One of these is camel bone, or no, that's the one that's coming in the mail. I've got one coming that's uh, camel bone. I don't know what kind of bones these are. Some of them are from bovine. And this chubby little thick one. What can we put on this? That one's called the elephant toe. Anyway, all right, let's finish this up. <sighs> Bunch of uh, Rough Riders today, other than this one, was from, I don't know, gent Gentleman's, what's that say, I can't even read that. It's fun, nice little fixed blade. Bunch of uh, lockbacks today and the canoe. Pretty fun, I'm excited. What does everyone wanna see on the Scrimshaw coming up here? Um, Anyone have any thoughts on it? Uh, tips if they've done it before? Ideas for things I could do? Just comment below. Let me know. Anyone have any ideas on what I can do to make this lock work? Because that is painfully painful. My, I've got a divots in my thumbs trying to push that in. God, look at how cool it looks, man. Life is always interesting, throwing some curveballs. You never know what's going to happen next. Very happy with all five of these right here. No doubt about it. Most excited about this one. Mm. That is the way life is. We, we're, we're here. We're getting stuff. We're checking it out. Um, excited to continue to do it. I will be getting into the scrimshaw practice and actual doing some of these knives very soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, more unboxings, more customizations, laser marks, dies, all types of fun. That is it for today. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you would like to see more. Helps me out and I really appreciate it. Tell me what you think of these knives. Stay sharp. We'll see you soon.